persons in the world. State line, Papua New Guinea, number three best stock market analyst, Didalji the Parrot. Didalji, it means strawberry, competed against 10 human investors, each investing about $48,000. Didalji's investments netted her a profit of 13.7%. The humans averaged a loss of 4.6%. The bird selected her stocks by pecking on any of 30 balls bearing the names of various stocks. The humans used a far less sophisticated method. They analyzed. Dateline North Carolina, number two best use, uh, use of discredited poll numbers. Commentator Bernie Goldberg of Cluster Fox said that the idea that 28% of Republicans believe the president was not born here pales in comparison to, quote, just a few years ago when several polls came out that showed that 35% of Democrats believe that George Bush and the neocons were behind the attacks on 9-11. I don't remember liberal journalists writing stories about how the whole Democratic Party needs to explain this or that how the Democratic Party is a magnet for lunatics. Now, some conservative journalists wrote that, but others, even including Jonah Goldberg, noted that the Rasmussen poll in question was terribly flawed. It is surely partly wrong, he said, because the question was not, do you think Bush and the neocons were behind the attacks on 9-11? It asked, did Bush know about the 9-11 attacks in advance? As in, did Intel warn his government what was coming? Which we now know it pretty much did. And Dateline Nairobi, Kenya. Number one best one-liner. Secretary of State Clinton interviewed there, asked about never-confirmed ex-UN Ambassador John Bolton's criticism of President Clinton's diplomatic success in North Korea. Secretary Clinton replied, quote, if President Obama, you know, walked on water, he'd say he couldn't swim. How to destroy John Bolton in 13 words.